There are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. You can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me. I believe in Christianity as I believe that the sun has risen, not only because I see it, but because by it I see everything else. Love is not affectionate feeling, but a steady wish for the loved person's ultimate good as far as it can be obtained. It is a good rule after reading a new book, never to allow yourself another new one till you have read an old one in between. Someday you will be old enough to start reading fairy tales again. To be a Christian means to forgive the inexcusable because God has forgiven the inexcusable in you. You can make anything by writing. A children's story that can only be enjoyed by children is not a good children's story in the slightest. We are not necessarily doubting that God will do the best for us. We are wondering how painful the best will turn out to be. I have learned now that while those who speak about one's miseries usually hurt, those who keep silence hurt more. God can't give us peace and happiness apart from himself because there is no such thing. The Christian does not think God will love us because we are good, but that God will make us good because he loves us. I can't imagine a man really enjoying a book and reading it only once. Love is something more stern and splendid than mere kindness. Education without values, as useful as it is, seems rather to make man a more clever devil. What you see and what you hear depends a great deal on where you are standing. It also depends on what sort of person you are. Crying is all right in its way while it lasts, but you have to stop sooner or later, and then you still have to decide what to do. We meet no ordinary people in our lives. If we find ourselves with a desire that nothing in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that we were made for another world. Eating and reading are two pleasures that combine admirably. Things never happen the same way twice. The great thing to remember is that though our feelings come and go, God's love for us does not. I think that if God forgives us, we must forgive ourselves. 
Otherwise, it is almost like setting up ourselves as a higher tribunal than him. Atheism turns out to be too simple. If the whole universe has no meaning, we should never have found out that it has no meaning. Courage, dear heart. Pain insists upon being attended to. God whispers to us in our pleasures, speaks in our consciences, but shouts in our pains. It is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. Don't use words too big for the subject. Don't say infinitely when you mean very, otherwise you'll have no word left when you want to talk about something really infinite. Miracles are a retelling in small letters of the very same story, which is written across the whole world in letters too large for some of us to see. The future is something which everyone reaches at the rate of 60 minutes an hour, whatever he does, whoever he is. You never know how much you really believe anything until its truth or falsehood becomes a matter of life and death to you. A man can no more diminish God's glory by refusing to worship him than a lunatic can put out the sun by scribbling the word darkness on the walls of his cell. He died not for men, but for each man. If each man had been the only man made, he would have done no less. No book is really worth reading at the age of 10, which is not equally, and often far more, worth reading at the age of 50 and beyond. The task of the modern educator is not to cut down jungles, but to irrigate deserts. No one ever told me that grief felt so like fear. I didn't go to religion to make me happy. I always knew a bottle of port would do that. If you want a religion to make you feel really comfortable, I certainly don't recommend Christianity. Now the trouble about trying to make yourself stupider than you really are is that you very often succeed. I know now, Lord, why you utter no answer. You are yourself the answer. Before your face questions die away, what other answer would suffice? There was a boy called Eustace Clarence Scrub, and he almost deserved it. God allows us to experience the low points of life in order to teach us lessons that we could learn in no other way. When we lose one blessing, another is often most unexpectedly given in its place. You would not have called to me unless I had been calling to you, said the lion. A proud man is always looking down on things and people, and of course, as long as you are looking down, you cannot see something that is above you.
Write about what really interests you, whether it is real things or imaginary things and nothing else. It is when we notice the dirt that God is most present in us. It is the very sign of his presence. If you love deeply, you're going to get hurt badly, but it's still worth it. Safe, said Mr. Beaver. Don't you hear what Mrs. Beaver tells you? Who said anything about safe? Of course he isn't safe, but he's good. He's the king, I tell you. Nothing you have not given away will ever really be yours. Make your choice, adventurous stranger. Strike the bell and bide the danger, or wonder till it drives you mad. What would have followed if you had? Christianity, if false, is of no importance, and if true, of infinite importance. The only thing it cannot be is moderately important. We may ignore, but we can nowhere evade the presence of God. The world is crowded with Him. He walks everywhere incognito. That's the worst of girls, said Edmund to Peter and the dwarf. They never can carry a map in their heads. That's because our heads have something inside them, said Lucy. It is a very funny thing that the sleepier you are, the longer you take about getting to bed. Relying on God has to begin all over again every day as if nothing had yet been done.